Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Calling me a witch? Huh. <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh. You sound like Isa. Isabella? The archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl. A good researcher. And unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her. But she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. 
We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm. That's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? You must do something to get those children out from underfoot. You figure out the riddle yet? These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows, or they're like this one, where it feels more natural and unplanned. There's something there. Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. <clears throat> so did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said, there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Where should we start? Over this way. Thank you for your help. And I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows. There's the next cross. I can 
didn't see another. Be careful if you go out to the graveyard, miss. A witch lives there. She likes to turn people into frogs. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal. That's a good deal for both of us. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Good deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. My father brought us here when I was just a boy. For a holiday? Research. He studied Incan stone monuments. I guess it was more of a hobby. He had no formal education. He sounds like an interesting man. <sighs> he was. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I'd come back here after he died. Maybe see if I could finish what he started. I know how you feel. But then I just ended up staying. There's something about this place that draws people and keeps them here. There's the next cross. The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage. Outrageous. Betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or... human, maybe. <laughs> There's the next cross. Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. Got it! Yes. Who are you? 
Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Uh, I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. I've always been grateful for my vivid imagination, except for right now. I can't believe it to get here. It was me, don't worry. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt.
Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Please tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt Manu told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually hoarding coal around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe. <laughs>